Joining me right now is billionaire and Netscape co-founder Jim Clark, known as an internet genius. He is also the founder of Commandscape, Shutterfly, Silicon Graphics, Healthy On, which merged with WebMD. And it is good to have you on the program, Jim. Thank you, Mary. Thank you so much for joining us. So you, characterize where we are right now. Before I go into the, the rise in security breaches and what's been going on in terms of the worry over security, how would you characterize what you've seen over the last 20 years? Uh, it's, it's Recently, there's been a spate, of, as you know, of, uh, of disruptions. Uh, the, the DNC getting emails uh, tapped and, and um, small business owners getting their machines encrypted so that they couldn't do business and having to pay Bitcoin ransom. And there's, uh, you know, massive uh, password theft at companies like Yahoo. So we're seeing it in a lot of different places. In the end, it all, in one way or another, points to this deficiency I call it, uh, that we call a password. And, and you wrote an op-ed on this, which was quite interesting, because a long time ago, or over the last, I'd say, 20 or 30 years, I, I might have asked you, where's the growth in the Internet? And you could say, you know, retail, you could say cloud, you could say social media, but now it feels like the growth is in securing our data. Yeah, well, ironically, back when we created Netscape, we, we invented a mechanism that allow you not to use passwords. Um, it, it, it's used daily, but it's used to authenticate a website. So a password is a form of authentication. It happens to be a very weak form, but when we invented this, this uh, protocol called Transport Layer Security, TLS, um, and made it open, it became adopted as a standard. It's used everywhere now. But um, this particular standard allows you to authenticate a user just like you authenticate the, pass, the, the, the uh, site or the, the website. How do, you, how do you do that? Because hackers are able to generate and, and penetrate rather passwords, gain access to all kinds of you know, sensitive information um, that we have on the internet. Is it like, I mean, do you like putting your eyes, your fingers? I mean, explain how this password, if you will, works because it's not your average password. Yeah, you need to think of a password as two different things. One type of password gives you access to your device, your phone. And then there's what I call a network password that gives you access to a site. It's the network password that's the most, the, the biometric kind of security can get you into your phone, but you don't want to use it to, for access to a site because that requires that the site have a copy. See, passwords are deficient because they amount to a shared secret. And, you know, there's an old, ad, old joke, a secret is something you tell one person at a time. And uh, thinking about a, about a secret, this particular secret, you don't want anyone to know. So the mechanism built into this um, TLS that I mentioned uh, already allows you to use what's called a public key certificate. Uh, and I'll, I'll just call it a certificate here. The, the certificate concept has been around for years. It's used to authenticate and make sure that you're connecting to Google, make sure you're connected to Yahoo. Any site you go to has a certificate. And that certificate is issued by a certification authority. There's a complete infrastructure for dealing with that kind of issue. And it's, it's a kind of thing that you can share with everyone because it's signed, digitally signed, and it's authenticatable, irrevocable. Mm. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a mechanism that I don't need to get down to the detail because it's going to go beyond everyone quickly. But it's used today to authenticate every website you visit. All I'm saying is the exact same mechanism could be used to authenticate users. So users need to be, get, need to be issued a certificate. Hmm. Then they don't need a password. And this certificate gets shared with everyone because it, it can't be altered. It can't be messed with. If you mess with it, it's no longer valid. Do you think we'll see an adoption, a, a yes, penetration of this? I think it's, it's, it's the most widely uh, used security technology in history. It's the most heavily debugged. It's been with us for 20 years. But it's just not being used to authenticate users. It's only used to authenticate sites. So if you start authenticating users, the infrastructure exists today to do it. So it's, I think it's, it's a natural. I'm doing it at my, at my new company. It makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Uh, what, what are we to think about, you know, even government facilities and entities getting, falling prey to hackers? You've got the Russian government suspected of hacking into state election systems right now, a, uh, potentially able to influence the election. <coughs> the CIA <coughs> reportedly planning to retaliate now. What should government be doing about this? Uh, it's... it's it, the, the real problem is you need to use this type of security. When you issue someone a certificate, they're able to, you don't have a back door, you don't have a trap door to get the information that they might encrypt using that 
So uh, the government gets, needs to get out of the way and let that happen. Uh, the government uses it, by the way, to give, give, give employees, government employees, secure, uh, a secure ID card, a secure card that gets them into places. And so I think the government really needs to let security happen. If you've got a back door, someone else can use it. Tell me about Commandscape, because I think today, more than ever before, we're vulnerable on so many fronts. It's not just our computer in front of us or our phone that's in our pocket, but our washing machine and our alarm system. And Commandscape is helping in terms of that. We're addressing the alarm. It's a, it's a commercial and home automation kind of product, commercial and home security. And it, it essentially addresses surveillance, uh, unlocking doors, opening things, giving permission to people to open things, turning lights on and off, adjusting your heating. It's a, it's a whole spectrum of things under one umbrella, all wrapped in this security envelope with a certificate. So it, it, it doesn't require someone enter a password or anything like that. They just go to their site. The protocol that's automatic on the, on the uh, Internet will take care of making sure that it's the right person if they have the right security. I thought it was really interesting that Jim Comey comes out and he says, look, put a put a cover on your computer at home, put a cover, I mean, you know, an exercise bike, whatever it is that people can penetrate, they will try. Well, there's so many ways that people can penetrate these days, especially the so-called home automation, wireless devices. There's all manner of product being sold today that's insecure. It literally is insecure, not even secure, no, no attempt at all. So we're in the very early stages of that, but it will come about that all of your data has to be protected with this kind of mechanism because passwords just aren't the way to do it. Is there any way to know for sure that it was Russia who was doing the hacking recently? I mean, in, whether it's the Democratic National Committee emails or trying to get involved in our election. I know the bad actors we've said for a long time are Russia, China, but do we know for sure? There's a trail of breadcrumbs from the same kinds of places that have left trails of breadcrumbs where, where we, we know that Russia was involved. So. All of the circumstantial evidence points to them. I'm not in that business, so I can't say. But uh, I, I trust that, that people are, are, are saying the right thing. This, is not, this isn't made up. People don't make this up for political reasons. And, and real quick, Jim, you've been mm -hmm. such a genius in this space. I want to ask you where you see the big thing next. I mean, is it secure, securing this stuff? I mean, that's why you created Com uh, uh, Commandscape, obviously. Well, security generally is certainly the big new thing. You've got to get out of passwords. There's no question about that. But the next big thing overall, well, you know, you always think the thing you're doing is going to be a big thing. And I'm, I'm involved in the, the entire, let's say, the entire security industry. I'm not talking about cybersecurity now. I'm talking about building security and that sort of thing. That, that industry hasn't been, nothing new has happened in the last 15 years, 20 years. 25 years. Long, long, long. It's been a long time. And so I, I think that there's going to be quite a revolution over the next 10 years in the general security space and then cybersecurity uh, cyber security overlaid on that so that you don't have people being able to tap into your digital home video cameras or people being able to abscond with your camera and use it for denial of service attacks and things like that. So we're going to see a lot of security activity. Fascinating stuff.